That morning, Mrs. Adler had been lying with her torso curved around a clamshell she'd been using for an ashtray. My daughter, she indicated Val with a cocked elbow, wants a pink and green room. It's pretty, said Val. What should I do? I couldn't wait to kick off my shoes and tie back my hair on a borrowed bandana to baptize myself in pink and green paint. Grab a roller, Mrs. Adler yawned, then fished a mother-of-pearl lighter and a box of Salem lights from her pocket. Ah, oh, ma, Val coughed. Remember, lung cancer? Mrs. Adler flicked her fingers at her daughter cheerfully. We're all going to go sometime. I watched, entranced, as she extracted a cigarette from the crushed pack, tapped it against the crinkled plastic, lit it, and sucked in the smoke. She's disgusting, Val announced. I waited for the reprimand, for the don't you talk to your mother that way that surely would have followed such a remark in my house. It never came. Mrs. Adler gave me a sly, pleased look. That Valerie, isn't she something? She blew twin plumes of smoke out of her nostrils. I crossed the room, my bare feet sticking to the saran wrap on the floor, picked up a roller and dabbed pink paint on the wall. Valerie, meanwhile, was slathering green on the bottom half of her section in speedy strokes, splashing droplets on the plastic like she couldn't get the wallpaper to disappear quickly enough. I watched her. My forehead scrunched as the paint pooled and beaded on top of the wallpaper. Um, I said. Mrs. Adler raised her eyebrows. Aren't you supposed to take the wallpaper off before you paint? Mrs. Adler looked at me, then at the wall. Huh. Valerie threw her roller onto the saran-wrapped floor, leaving a splashing blotch of mink. Mom! she yelled. I tensed, waiting for Mrs. Adler to tell Valerie not to raise her voice, but Mrs. Adler just shrugged. Honey, I never said I was an expert, she said, and ground out her cigarette in the clamshell. We could ask my dad, I volunteered. He could help us. He did John's room last winter. I think he rented a steamer from somewhere. You steam the paper first, and then you scrape it, and then you paint the wall with white stuff. Primer, I think? Huh, said Mrs. Adler. This is starting to sound complicated. Valerie, meanwhile, was staring at the half-painted wall with her chin trembling. You stink, she said, without looking at her mother. You are the worst mother ever. We're doing this all wrong. Mrs. Adler uncoiled herself from the bed, planted her feet on the floor, placed her hands on her hips, and leaned backwards. You're right, she said, not sounding especially concerned. I have screwed this up completely. Then again, I never claimed to be a professional. You didn't have to be a professional, Val yelled. All you had to do was read a book or something. You're right, Mrs. Adler said again. Read an article, Val said miserably. You could have just read an article. Let me make it up to you, said Mrs. Adler. She put her hand on Valerie's shoulders. Val shook it off, rattling her mother's silver bangles. You can't. This is a disaster. All I wanted was a nice, pretty room with pink and green, a nice room like Addie had, and you said I could. I recognized this was a bad situation, but I flushed with pleasure. Val wanted a room like I had. Disaster, Mrs. Adler agreed. You're right. I vote we go clamming. Valerie sniffled. I don't want to go clamming. I just want to paint my room, and you promised that I could. It's one of the last nice weekends of summer. We can paint your room anytime, but summer won't last forever. <laughs>